Have you been wanting to buy a new construction home? I've been in your shoes. You walk through the door of a gorgeous model home and you fall in love. In this video, I'm going to share some tips and what to expect when buying new construction. If we haven't met, I'm Dina Powell. I'm a realtor in upstate South Carolina, and over the course of my career, I've sold new construction and worked with builders for four years. I've learned a lot and it's helped me with my buyers going through the process of new construction. At the end of this video, I would love to share with you two new neighborhoods that are coming to Anderson, South Carolina. The first thing I want to talk about is the importance of having your own realtor. It's very important to have your own representation. When you walk through the door of a model home, you're going to be greeted by a sales agent. They can help you with so much information about the neighborhood and be very helpful. However, they represent the builder. Their contracts and pricing can be very confusing. What is included with the features, what's not included. So having an agent that can sit down with you, go over everything and get those questions answered is very important. You may be out driving around and want to stop by a neighborhood. And I tell my clients, just make sure you let that sales agent know that you have a buyer's agent. And that way they can put you into their system and mark it down that they have an agent. It's helpful to know from the very beginning. The second thing I want to talk about is going into a neighborhood with spec homes. I get a lot of questions. Can I pick my own plan? Can I pick all my selections? Um, you used to be able to, but in this market, it's a little harder. It really depends on the builder. Um, I've had several buyers that have gone in, picked everything, and they get midway through and the builder can't get what they've wanted, either very, very delayed or they've they're not making it anymore. So going in and buying something that's already finished is a lot easier. A lot of times the builders just get what they can get. However, you could end up getting an upgrade on something. I had somebody get an upgraded stove because they couldn't get what they normally carry and supply in the home. So sometimes it can be a little, a little beneficial, but you just, just know that going in that sometimes that's a problem. The other thing I want to talk about is when it comes to financing. When you go through and you buy through a spec builder, you do a traditional loan. You don't have to do a construction loan with 20% down. So the process is a lot easier. You go through just like you were buying a pre-existing home. The one thing that you need to know is when going in and wanting to write a contract, you just need to know that if you have a home to sell, it needs to be under contract. The reason for this is the builder is paying for everything. They're paying for all the supplies, all this, the contractors and everything along the way. So when it comes time to finish the home and close, they need to get paid. And if you don't have your home on the market yet or it hasn't sold, they have to wait and they're, they're not able to do that. So that's why I just explained to, to buyers, it's beneficial going this route because you don't have to put as much down, but you need to be able to close once, it, once the home is finished. The other thing I wanna talk about is when it comes to appraisals. When you go through new construction and they have an appraisal, they're going to do an initial appraisal. Typically, they're going to do this in the very beginning, probably once the, the cabinets are in. I would say midway through. And the reason for this is the home needs to be somewhat completed. And then they're going to come back once the home is fully completed, move in ready and do a final. Now, there is an additional cost to that, and a lot of times buyers don't want to pay that fee. They say, well, why can't I just do just one one-time appraisal and not have to pay that additional fee? I urge buyers to just have that, that initial and also the final because you're going to have a major, major delay at the end. It is taking one to two weeks to even get an appraiser out there, and if the home is completed, you've got one to two weeks to get them out there, and then they have maybe another week to get it finished. So I just let buyers know, just go ahead and have that done. I know that you have to pay that additional fee, but it, it really will save you in the long run. The last thing I wanna talk about is in the beginning of the video, I mentioned some neighborhoods that are coming to Anderson. There's two new neighborhoods that are coming that I wanna talk about. There's, there's actually more, but there's two I wanna talk about. One is a townhome community and it's Ryan Homes. And they are building a new townhome community, three bedroom, two and a half bath, Hannah Crossings across from Hannah High School on 81. Um, now they are letting you pick selections um, and they also um, are letting you finance just like normal. It's just they have a little bit of flexibility in there where you can pick your own selections. The other neighborhood I wanna talk about is 
Midway. It's by Hunter Quinn Builders, and they're building over on the corner of Crestview and Midway. Um, there's actually a lot of lots there that they're building on. They're going to have several different plans, um, and they're, they're just starting the process. Um, what I've read and what I've heard is from the planning meeting that Anderson County had is the developer told them they're going to be widening the roads and they're going to account for two roundabouts. So that way the flow of traffic isn't going to be congested and it's going to help with that. So if you would like more information about these neighborhoods, please let me know. Um, I appreciate you watching my video. And also, if you'd like more information on new construction, I have a step-by-step -step guide um, on, new, on building and new construction that goes in a lot more detail. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day.